Hi, I'm Jill and I'm a placement student working with the reserves team here at WWT Slimbridge. Welcome to the South Ring Finger Reed Bed and another episode of Wildlife Weekly. So in this week's episode, we're going to be looking at the little ring plovers out on the estuary the Great Crested Grebes out on South Lake, and I'll be telling you a little bit about what I've been doing with the reserves team here. So um, out on the estuary, on the mud flats, this lovely hot weather has brought out a lot of insects, which the waders are really taking advantage of. The little ring plover absolutely loves the mud that can be found on the estuary because of all the insects that it can find there. But this catches the attention of other waders that are feeding in that area, such as this lapwing, which sees the little ring plover as competition for the same food source, so uses its size to chase it off in this very dramatic clip. So out on South Lake, you can see a great crested grebe family, which comprises of two adults and a chick. And this is a really great wetland for them to raise their chick because there's a lot of protection from predators under the vegetation on the banks and uh, there's a lot of insects and small fish which they feed on and you can see all of this from the South Lake Discovery Hide which offers great views of the family relaxing in their natural environment. So here in the grounds just outside the restaurant our Caribbean flamingos have been building some nests and here is Paul Rose our resident flamingo expert to tell you more. Hello, my name's Paul and I'm researching the behaviour of the flamingos here at WWT Slimbridge and today I'm just going to give you a brief update on the behaviour of the Caribbean flamingos that you can see behind me. So these birds are currently nest building and they're sitting on eggs and hopefully all being well we're expecting chicks to be hatching towards the end of this month. But the cool behaviour that you can see at the moment are particularly the three birds um, that are right at the front on their nests is how they actually build their nests because the flamingo is quite unique in how it structures the mud mound that it produces and it uses its very very specialised beak to drag mud upwards to form a sort of cooling tower. This prevents the chick and the egg from getting damaged by flooding but it also sucks in water and that evaporates around the incubating bird which keeps the chick and the egg cooler at hotter times of the day. And you can probably see that one of the bird's nests is really, really huge. That's a good sign because it shows that the bird is really settled on its nest and it really likes the fact that it's chosen that spot for it to raise its youngsters. The birds will squabble and joust on their nest, as you can see in the clip. And whilst flamingos are really, really social and they like to hang around in a big group, they don't always like birds really close to them. And we know that birds will squabble and joust with their beaks around their nest sites because sometimes their neighbours can get a bit too close for comfort. So I'm a university student studying wildlife conservation and I've taken a year out between my second and final year just to get some work experience out in the wetland. Um, I work with the reserve wardens and volunteers with maintaining the reserve by doing fencing and strimming. I've also undertaken this year's vole survey and been surveying the willow pollards around the grounds. So the weather this week looks like it's set to stay sunny uh, with the possibility of it getting a little bit cloudy later on. But this hot weather will bring out more dragonflies and butterflies which will feed all the birds that we have here on the reserve. So if you've enjoyed this video then please do share it on Facebook and Twitter and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel or check the website for further information. Ha <laughs> ha